What's up you guys? Today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I shop for seven toddlers, two adults, and two teenagers right here in this video for $250. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome, you guys. We do so many cleaning motivations. We do DIYs, we do decorating videos, we do all of the things right over here on this channel. So make sure that you guys are going to the channel, checking out the other videos that we have, just like so this, this one. This is the very first grocery haul that I have ever done because I've seen other people do it. I just haven't really done it. I like will get my groceries and show me putting them away and things, but I decided I was gonna go ahead and just kind of clue you in on how we do our groceries. So we do in-home daycare groceries. We also do for our teenagers and ourselves. And so we have pretty much gotten it down to where we are. Our grocery budget is somewhere around $250 a week. Um, and that's, you know, getting them all the snacks that they want and healthy varieties and things like that. So I'm just going to kind of clue you in on some of the things that we decided to do this week and um, go from there. So um, this is just a country gravy mix. Obviously, it is from Winco. I don't know if you guys have a Winco from where you're at, but it has... Um, been really awesome because they have a huge variety of things but then they're also you know very budget friendly and so we were able to get a lot of our stuff there we do also shop at different grocery stores as well but this is our main grocery store that we have started shopping at so we do fresh delis so there's some areas you know where we don't necessarily cut our corners but then some places where we do and um, I've, I think we've kind of figured out like what's cheaper at Walmart or another store versus Winco and we kind of do some of our you know different shopping there so like one of our shoppings would be like our coke a cola and um, I'm trying to think of another thing that we would possibly get at Walmart but it's normally like just a small variety of things some of my gluten-free items um, because I do mostly gluten-free I found out like here recently I'll have to share that in a whole nother video with you guys but basically that I can now have gluten and it's because of this certain shot that I took and all of that stuff so I can share that with whoever would like to hear that just say it down in the comments but um so this is string cheese. So this is a really good snack that you can serve for daycare. So we basically got this for daycare. Um, baby carrots. Um, I use these a lot in a lot of my meals. Um, like my healthy meals that I cook for myself. Um, so I may chop these or I may just fry these or I may bake these. Um, just depending. Here's some like pepperonis. My husband and youngest son really love to snack on these. Um, and then of course you've got your fresh deli cheese um, to go with your lunch meats and then also I might make grilled cheeses and things like that out of that. Um, we do like to do fresh fruits so we got these red rouge um, grapes. Um, we also do the bananas, so bananas, grapes. Um, we do some canned fruit, which we already had a ton um, kind of stored up, so we just got a little bit. But this uh, deluxe gold pineapple is so delicious. Um, it's very, very flavorful, and we get this at Winco. Um, I would say that they probably do sell these somewhere else as well, but these are very, very delicious. Um, and then we just got the Winco brand peach slices. Um, and then just a variety. So like I like to get a lot of our canned goods here because it is very affordable. Um, and I like to stay stocked up on some of my stuff. So I get a variety of things that I can, you know, make with mills or that I can uh, make like a stew out of. Um, Hunt's uh, traditional pasta sauce is my absolute favorite. Um, and they do have several different, you know, what do you call it, flavors that you can get. Um, but that has been like my go-to is the Hunts. Um, and then as you can see, like there's dried tomatoes. So you can use this with like a, a for stew as well, the tomato sauce, all of that. So I absolutely love these fresh cut mushrooms. I will take these fresh cut mushrooms and um, they're already sliced. So... I can just fry these up and they are so good in a nice stir fry. And so you can see that I have here the red cabbage. 
Um, I don't know if they call it purple cabbage, red cabbage, whatever it is. Um, this right here, if you slice it, so I was doing a rice that I really wanted to do like low carb. And so I went and got this and now I slice this and then I fry it. And so that's like my filler and it's my replacement for rice. So if you're looking for a good filler, um, to kind of replace your carb, like if you're going to do like a stir fry, this is a really good replacement for like your rice. I love the way that it tastes. Once it's fried, you just fry it in a little vegetable oil um, and you're good to go. And then I also fry these up with it. So that's like a good filler for like a meat um, filler if you're not wanting to do, if you're like wanting to go vegan, this is a really good replacement for meat. But I normally will add even chicken in with with my stir fry or this sausage. This is also super, super delicious. You can like slice this up and then you put it in your frying pan. You can also take all of this, stick it inside of a baking, like a baking pan, kind of like a cake pan. Um, stick all of your ingredients inside there, put a little bit of either vegetable oil or olive oil, and then cook that um, at about 350 for about an hour. And all of this is going to be really, really good together as well. And then you can also mix your baby carrots in there. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's missing from that. You can kind of just get creative and just add whatever you want. You can add onions in there. I'd probably do some uh, minced garlic um, in with all of that. And maybe even some uh, roasted potatoes would be really, really good in there. So, yeah. So, anyway, here's these uh, Frito scoops. These are super, super <laughs> good for, like, especially if you're going to, like, dip them with, like, a salsa. Or I like to make my avocado dip and then eat those Fritos with avocado dip. It's also a really good gluten-free option um, uh, for a chip. Um, it only has corn oil, oil, and salt. And if you're always wondering, like, so I do have to do, like, dairy-free, gluten-free, all of these things. And so you just go to the ingredients list. It tells you what all the ingredients are. But then you look down here where it says and it actually says ingredients. Um, that part right there is going to tell you if it has wheat, if it has soy, if it has milk, like whatever it is that you're trying to stay away from, it'll tell you right there in that little spot. So if you're ever wondering about that, and that's going to be like on any of your stuff, um, obviously, like cheese is, that's dairy. But um, so like this right here, you can also look down in here. It's going to tell you if it has, and it says right there, contains wheat, milk, soy, so all of those things. So this is actually like an option that we do for like daycare kids or even my husband and the kids love that stuff. I kind of try to stay away from all of it. So anyways, then we get our bread. Um, we just got like our white bread. I also like to do a wheat bread. So we have to do whole wheat, which I already have some in the refrigerator um, for our daycare kids. Um, what else? I just got the raw broccoli. I like to slice this up. I stick it inside of a, a large baggie and then I can munch on this. It's like a really good healthy snack. That cauliflower, um, the carrots, and you can make like little veggie trays and kind of snack on that throughout the day. Um, way better than like snacking on chips or something like that. So I think that pretty much covers it. Um, my kids love these. Um, Gatorades, which is like super good. Right now they're helping me with the front flower bed. And so try to keep them hydrated. Um, I'll take you over to the refrigerator. It's kind of a mess right now. and needs to be cleaned out. But um, we also get these. So like on the weekends, uh, the boys' girlfriends come over. And I like to get um, them these bottled pops. And so we'll normally get these. Um, a and W root beer, ginger ale. They have like obviously like the orange pop, whatever you want. Um, but we get those for when they come over, so that they have you know extras to kind of kind of drink on while they're here over the weekends. Um, I also do almond milk, so I like to do the vanilla almond milk um, for my coffee in the mornings. Um, and then I don't know if he actually bought it. I wanted an original. Yep, here's the original. I'll come in here and reorganize all of this later, but um, this I can like have, have like if I just want like a glass of milk or whatever, it won't have that vanilla flavor, but that vanilla flavor is really, really good inside my coffee, so I like to get both, but 
that helps me as far as my dairy free option. If you do have a nut allergen, you could always try like a soy milk or something like that. But um, for our daycare, we do have to have um, one percent milk and we also have to have the whole milk because the whole milk is um, really, really good for the daycare kids um, as far as um, ages. I believe it's like ages two and up. They want them having the whole milk, but then the younger kids, they only want them on the 1%. So it's super weird. It changes a lot with our uh, fruit food program. Um, we also do these biscuits. So like these, you know, they're only like a dollar something or it just depends. Um, and I can get these and I can feed my whole daycare kids. So I'll just stick these on a baking sheet and do them up in the morning times and those are really really good they love those um, they're easy for them to eat and it's also an easy item to just kind of hand out um, oops, so that they can eat those and then the next thing would be these um, crescent rolls so either the biscuits or the crescent rolls and then I already told you like we do the biscuits and gravy sometime so they love those as well when we do these shredded, the shredded cheese, this goes on all sorts of things. Like they love putting, my kids love putting this on all sorts of things. So who knows what they're going to use that for. Also do like to do, so there's my baggie. It needs to be redone. Um, but the fresh asparagus, cause you can actually stick this in the oven, um, spray it down with some sprayed, uh, so I'll spray down my baking sheet with my olive oil and then I'll stick that in there and then um, spray them also. And I spray them with this extra virgin olive oil. So anyway, you can stick those on a baking sheet, stick them in the oven, and they are delish. So that's it, guys. That's gonna conclude the grocery haul pretty much. Um, I'm gonna start putting all of this stuff away. I've gotta get my pantry organized. I'm putting right in front of my face, I totally forgot to mention these. So these are actually the eggs that we get. We get them by the large carton. And um, let me open it up for you so you can see. Okay, so one thing I do know and I did realize, like, so we went to Hawaii for vacation, and my lord, some of you guys are paying out the wazoo for um, eggs, groceries in general. We live in Oklahoma and like we realized like how lucky we were. So when I say $250 for groceries for an entire week, um, for seven daycare kids and two teenagers and two adults in this house, that is Oklahoma pricing. So, um, this carton of eggs, I'm going to say is around, two or three bucks where versus when some of you guys are going to the store it's definitely more because when we went to Hawaii like eggs just for a carton was like six to ten dollars so I totally am feeling you guys on some of this you know where they're raising prices for everything um because when we went to Hawaii I was just like oh my gosh I don't know how I don't know how people are living there, which I'm, I'm guessing, you know, people are getting paid more too, but my goodness. But anyways, okay. So <laughs> with all of that being said, we do get the big deals of eggs. We do a lot of eggs here. So I do them for uh, breakfast in the mornings for daycare. Um, sometimes we do them on the menu for lunch. So it just depends. I do boiled eggs. I do, um, fried eggs, even for myself, for my kids, for my, our whole family. So we do a lot of eggs, a lot of eggs, plus there's just baking and all that stuff that goes on. And so we do a lot of eggs. So anyway, so it comes in the cartons like this. And for me to store them in my refrigerator, all this is already getting strung out all over the place. Um, I put them inside of this little dill. I also have another bowl that I'll put in here and fill that bowl full of full of eggs. So this thing just gets filled to the brim with eggs and it makes it super, super nice. I got this thing right here at the Dollar Tree. So it was a dollar whatever after tax, right? So um, I got this at the Dollar Tree 
and now I fill my eggs in it and stick it into the refrigerator. So if you guys have something, you know, even a bowl or something like that, that's just laying around that you can put all your eggs in, that'll work too. I was filling them up with this, but that was before we started getting the huge cartons because we were using so much, so many eggs. We kept just having to go back. So anyways, but yeah, so that's what we do. Um, I also got this little container. I got this, I believe at TJ Maxx though. Um, this holds my flour. I put all my flour inside of it. Um, and I do coconut flour and almond flour and all of the things. And so I keep my flour inside of that. Um, I do have an entire video going over how I organize my refrigerator. <laughs> this right here is disorganized. So we're going to get back to reorganizing. So if you guys are looking to see how to organize your fridge and for the most part, it does stay organized, but it is definitely not. We just got back from vacation and stuff is a wreck in here. But anyways, you guys can go watch that video um, and I will also link it down in the description for you guys. These are also storage baggies that we got from Winco as well. Um, and we use these for a lot of different things. So like I said, I'll cut up my fresh vegetables and stuff and I'll put them in these. Um, and store them in the refrigerator. I also use these a lot for like class. Um, here's an example. So we do our tracing um, and I'll just put, you know, uh, I'll write it and then I'll put it inside the baggie and now you can take a dry erase marker and have your toddler work on their tracing. Um, so this is huge for them learning their numbers. Um, this helps with number rec recognition um, because as they're tracing, I'm also having them say what number it is. Um, so this is huge for like helping them learn their numbers and learning how to write their numbers and things like that. You can also do this with their name. With I have one for the alphabet. Um, and so we do this a lot. So that's another thing that we use this sandwich baggies for. <laughs> But we use them for a lot of stuff. Um, I use them to help store a lot of things and we get creative with them. So sandwich baggies are a must for us. So the next thing I wanted to go over was my freezer. And again, this is so not organized and needs cleaned out horribly. But this is um, a big bag of fish sticks. We also, I believe, get this at Winco. Um, and I don't remember how much the bag is, but it might be like six or seven bucks, but this goes a long way. And, um, the daycare kids love these. Um, my oldest actually loves the fish sticks as well, but we also do the, um, Tyson chicken nuggets. These are also delicious and they go a long way. So we'll do those as well. Um, we also do the buttermilk pancakes. Um, so this is also another breakfast item and it's super easy. I can stick them all on a plate, stick them in the microwave for about two and a half minutes and they are done. Um, and I can make those. And then we also have the waffles that we do. Um, corn dogs is another thing that we'll do. Um, the chicken fajita, uh, is one that I use for like my healthier meals. Um, so anyways, yeah, so that's freezer items and that stuff all goes a long ways, you know, like we can do a bag of chicken nuggets and those normally last through my teenager, all of our day, whoever okay. else decides that they want some of those. So that is going to conclude this grocery haul. Hopefully you guys were able to get you guys some good budget friendly ideas. And until next time, you guys we will see you on the next one.